Hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out to the Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back to my channel, guys. Hope you, hopefully you guys are doing all fantastic. So this will be your daily message for August 16th. So with that, back to this deck, because I really felt like we had great messages the other day from there. So we have three cards coming for you guys today. So the first one says you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Do not question things so much. You are on the right track. You are facing the right way. Stop overthinking it. It's happening, and you're closer than you think. You are exactly where you need to be, and things are moving at the perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steadily. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought, if a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, this is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else's. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane, water your own garden, knowing that your time to bloom will come soon wow that's powerful really really powerful and i know that i have to hear that message so amen to that i feel like god definitely had a plan in me hearing this tonight because you know just in just in this current relationship that i'm in now i you know i have had doubts already um and, and not doubts against like the new man just you know, doubts about me, about my unworthiness, right? Like things, ugh, things creeping from my past, things, you know, just, just hitting me in the face this week and uh, I needed this. So I really feel like when we, when we're so, like I said yesterday, when we're so scared to be happy because things in our life have just gone so wrong, but it, it's not that it's even going wrong. It's that every little thing that has led us up to this very moment has made us who we are. So if we didn't go through the things that we have been through, we wouldn't be as strong and healed as we are. And even though you may feel like you're not ahead, even though you may feel like you're still 10 steps back from where you want to be, Spirit says you are closer than you think. You have to trust and keep walking forward. You have to let that ego just disappear don't compare your story to the story of other people don't compare your path to other people's path don't compare your pain to other people's pain don't compare your hurt to other people's hurt you know stay in your lane water your own garden you know the timing is everything it, it truly really is but knowing and seeing this as you're exactly where you need to be and things are moving at the perfect speed it's all about patience it's all about the divine plan it's all about divine timing it's it's a beautiful message to really soak in today about knowing that everything that is meant for you will gravitate towards you at the exact right moment and you have planted the seeds long before right now and spirits just coming through and saying you know, back then when you thought you had nothing, back then when you felt you were at your darkest place and you started planting those seeds, you know, you haven't realized how much you've grown since then. You haven't realized how much you've, you know, accomplished or blossomed or, you know, any of that stuff. Like you have no idea how much potential you have in yourself to to move out of a dark moment that you might be in right now to to just see that the, the light is right there. And, and that's what I feel for you guys is that the light is right there. You know, all you got to do is reach out and put out your hand and say, I'm ready, you know, and keep moving forward. Keep walking into the unknown because in the unknown is where that true happiness lies. And that unknown is, is all that we've been waiting for. All right. So, wow. Powerful message. Really powerful. I needed that. Okay, boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? We all need to establish better boundaries, okay? That is your Sunday homework. Whenever you see this video, you need to set some healthier boundaries. But let's read. You're being called to create clear boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family, or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. 
At first it might only be a little bit and not not feel like a big deal, but before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you're left feeling depleted, resentful, or taking advantage of. Saying no and having clear boundaries is exactly a spiritual act. The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries, for when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely. If you are not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetically cords to be planted. If you are saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or a fear of loss. The best way to gauge your boundaries is to check in with your belly. Your belly is the second brain. It has intelligence known as your gut feelings. Tune into this space when deciding what is okay for you. How does it feel? What is trying to communicate with you? That's so powerful too. You know? Because at some point, we know within ourselves what we need to do. At some point, we know what we've done too much. At some point, we know that the only thing left that we can do is give up. At some point, we know that when you've given your all to someone, a relationship, a connection, a friendship, and you got nothing left to give, it's because you've given too much. All right? It's time to pull back. It's time to be able to say, as much as you're saying yes to people, you should be able to feel confident to say no without feeling like you're going to be judged or this person's going to hate you or, you know, that's not a healthy boundary. You should be able to say no. You should be able to say, I need this time for me. So if you can't do that, what part of you needs something from them? That's a very powerful question in the factor right there. Okay, last card says Council of Light, Divine Orchestration Helpers in the subtim Subdual Realms. The Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it is time to ask them. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like to help? Well, what would you like help with? What task would you like to de delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, lights, beings, angels, and guides devoted to the rising of Earth and all humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission. Like a spirit world, United Nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your request and let them get to work. Hold this card on your heart and say, Council of Light, I am ready to receive your help for fulfilling my personal dharmic mission. Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step of the way and for sending me helpers and experiences that delight my mind, body, and soul. Wow. Like, there's so much power. There's so much confidence in that message. It just makes me feel like, you know, when we get so lost in life, when we see so many other people growing and so many other people prospering and so many other people getting this and this and this and we just feel stuck in life and we feel like we're not going anywhere you know we we put ourselves in that stuck position because we don't feel like we're worthy of having the things that other people have but you're totally a hundred percent a million percent worthy of having everything that everyone else has you just gotta believe that within you all right so that is your message today guys for the 16th of august you guys take care i'm sending you love and light and i'll see you guys again soon